couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a heartbreaking composition of your own using E minor and C, okay? And um, basically, all you need to know for this is the E minor scale on the E string, okay? E minor is open strings, one, two, three, and six. And you have two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve on the E string. Okay? So just toy around with that for a while. And then decide on the rhythm you want to approach in your own composition. It might be a slow rhythm. Okay? You see how the transition from E minor to C creates really interesting tension and really interesting color. Now you can also use C major seven, okay? With the open second string. It's C with the open second string. And we're gonna use that to best effect using, okay? Eight on the sixth string, which is um, also C. So, okay, we're gonna create these sorts of sounds. Now this is supposed to be simple and beautiful. No fancy stuff, no showing off. So um, just explore and create licks on the E string using the open E minor chord. Okay, and when you're ready, move to the C chord. Now I'm also using three on the second string. You can do it or not. On the second string, you have exactly the same fret numbers, okay? Except for two, okay? Instead of two, play one. So you have 12, 10, 8, 7, 5, 3, 1, 0 on the second string, okay? For the E minor scale. So, um... See? Just very simple stuff, just arpeggiating open strings. And I am, um, I was playing seven and eight on strings one and two. Okay, so like, okay, you can also use seven on the second string. And then I moved to C major seven by putting eight on the sixth string. See how that works? It's really easy. It's an instant melody. It's instantly beautiful. So... the chord as long as you're putting it on. So it's two and three on strings four and five, um, or two and two if you want C, it's two and three, or two and two if you want E minor. Now you can also use five and seven if you want E minor. Okay? But it kind of confines you, you only have one finger free for soloing. Okay, so I prefer not use uh, not to use that. So, okay, anything works here. Just change between E minor and C. Now, as you see, I'm not even trying hard to create interesting licks. I'm just noodling around the scale. You can also use. Okay, you use your finger instead of the thumb. Um, you can use your finger uh, and then play 12 and 10. Okay, and eight. Okay, I'm just playing a couple of notes and then returning to open strings. 
And when you use uh, E minor and C, you'll find that you want to, um, to kind of release the tension at some point. Then you can just play D and then just go back to E minor. So you can play okay, the D chord. The solo around zero, two, three on the E string or take this C chord up two frets. And then you get okay, this uh, interesting D chord. Okay? Okay, and then you're back to E minor and the D chord releases the tension. So arpeggiating the chord works and I use the same uh, trick I pulled off the 1 to 0 on the second string in C and I did the same thing on D pulling it off from 3 to 0 and then I continued arpeggiating okay and I don't even know what I did I just let my fingers flow that's the idea with this exercise it's so easy if you want to play strings Four and five, though, put the chord on. If not, just put the bass note on. Um, yeah, you can use 10 on the second string and 12 as well. Nothing fancy, you don't want to uh, go overly complicated, just... Okay, you can go to D from E minor as well. No rule saying that you can't uh, do E minor to D and back to E minor. You don't have to play the C before that. Um, even though the basis for the, the whole motif here, the tension and release is E minor C, E minor C, E minor C, E minor C, or more accurately, E minor C major 7. And then when you want to release the tension, and it's best to, to stretch the tension as far as you can, okay? Just keep playing E minor and C major 7 just as far as you can go and then release the tension and it will be just... A magnificent musical moment trust me on that and um... yeah you can use the pinky for the, the C bass note okay, if you want five or you can use three on the fifth string and then you have five three Seven if you like to stretch. Two if you want to use the second finger for the bass. harmonics. I have a lesson on how to solo with natural harmonics. You can use that as an idea. You can insert a little bit of uh, extra tension by using chromatics. Okay, 3, 2, 1, 0 on the second string. You don't have to. And when you want to release, You can also create a dramatic moment in the pause. Okay, and also connect these two. Okay, you have uh, 4 and 5 on 4 and 5, and you have 5 and 7 that I showed you for E minor, so you can do. You can use those as a basis for a solo. Back to 
to see. different things so you can have as many ideas uh, to explore later on so you go explore this and before you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I don't see a reason why not everything here is for free of course for your guitar education but if you want to give something back anyway you can pledge on patreon and become a lick and riff patron I'm grateful for any pledge you choose to make the link is below in the description and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson so thank you very much for watching bye for now enjoy